Okay, I'm going to quickly go through a very important topic in coding, and that is debugging. So what is debugging? Debugging is just basically the process of going through your code and trying to figure out the source of errors. So there could be uh, some logic error, or there can be some other error, uh, syntax errors or whatever. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to use the Chrome browser to actually do your debugging. Uh, attached to this lesson, uh, you'll find it's basically the assignment or the the web page that we worked on in the previous lesson for events. Uh, you will find that attached, and we will use this uh, for our our uh, debugging lesson here. So go ahead and if you don't have it open still, go ahead and open the one that's attached and uh, get it up on your browser. Okay, and when you're ready, uh, feel free to come back and continue. Okay, so we have our page here. Go ahead and uh, refresh. Um, go ahead and either for for me, I just like to do the right right mouse and do inspect. Um, there's keyboard shortcuts to do this, but um, that's just how I like to do it. Um, you'll see this developer console at the bottom. Go over to sources. And sources, you'll be able to see that you have your files here. So you can see your index.html and you'll see your events.js. Okay, so we want to be on the events.js file and go ahead and make that a little bit bigger. Uh, you can see there's a bunch of buttons over here. Uh, these are for the debugger. Um, and so what we're going to do is let's go ahead and on the left side here of this numbering, uh, you can actually click into here and it'll make this little blue arrow kind of thing. Uh, this is called a breakpoint. So what this does is that once the code reaches to, uh, once the application reaches to the spot in the code, it'll actually stop the application from what it's doing. So it'll kind of momentarily pause and it's going to stay that way until you tell it to continue. All right, so uh, you'll notice that you can't put it on like the function name here. Um, you can put it on like the first line, um, but you can put it on things like this. So this is not a function uh, declaration. This is a uh, code. Um, let's see. You can put on the if statement there, and you can put, and you can see you can put multiples, and you can remove them. And another thing you can do is uh, with these selected over on the right here you can say deactivate breakpoints so your breakpoints are still there they're just not going to be uh, stopping anything so this is like a quick way to I'm um, just like oh I think I fixed it run the, run it again and if it goes all the way through then I'm good if I'm not then uh, I can just turn my breakpoints back on okay cool all right so let's put on line number two here Let's go ahead and put a breakpoint there, and you can see this is the console.log for button one was pressed. So up here, let's go ahead and hit, hit that button one. And you can see that it says paused in debugger. And this has a couple options. It says resume script execution or step over next function call. So if I press this one, the resume script, watch what happens. It's just going to complete, and then you'll see in here that that button one was pressed and all that stuff happened. So let's do this one more time. Let's refresh. You can see my breakpoint is still there on refresh. Go ahead and press button one. And let's do this one over here that says step over next function call. So let's see what that does. So what that does is that just gets you to the next thing that happens there. All right. And if you keep on pressing, Let's keep on it keeps going and then you can see it goes back to index.html and it's it's pretty much done let's see oh I actually called another one so we're still in the debugger right now um, even though there's no breakpoint here um, it's still in debug mode so until I tell it to play um, that's what will get it out of the the debug mode where it's just stopping on everything okay so let's go ahead and hit that uh, let's do something else. So we have this if statement here. So this one's a little more involved. So go ahead and refresh. And then this one, you can see nothing happens here until you type something and then mouse away. And then you can see that we are in our function. 
this has already been executed, you can confirm that by going to the console tab. And then we are in our if. So let's go over here. So we can see the step over next function call, step into function call, step out of function call, and then uh, then our resume, and then the other things that I already mentioned. So let's just do this step into function call. And so you can see that our if statement it did not pass, so it went down to this invalid password one. Okay. And if you keep on doing the step into, you can see it's still going. All right. So um, let's go and play again. Let's change this to one, two, three, and then tab out of there. Okay, so we're in here again. Okay, same thing. Awesome. All right, so you're probably wondering what's the difference between step over and step into. So you notice that it says next function call or next function call. So that is saying that if there is a function within your function, then you are either going to go into that function and look into it, which is the step into, or you're going to go just let the function execute and just uh, go to the next phase. So you can see here, uh, let's go ahead and refresh this. So that's one, two, three, and then tab out. So you can see this is just an if statement. Oops, did not mean to do that. This is just an if statement, so it doesn't matter if I do step over or step into, it's going to do the same thing, All right? But if I have another function call inside of there, then that will behave a little bit differently. So let me pop this over to the side and let's change our code a little bit. So let's do this and then let's just call another function. So uh, let's just call this mouse function, okay? Doesn't make much sense to use this mouse function right now, but it's okay. We're just using a hard example. So you can see that this mouse is here now if you refreshed. So you can see mouse is there. Let's remove this breakpoint. I'm going to put it at the top here. So now we have a function that has a function in being called inside of it. So let's go ahead and let's see which one are we working on. We're working on this one up here. Let's go ahead and type something. So one and then hit tab or click out. So now we're in the console.log. So we can just, uh, let's see what happens if we do step into. So that's fine because that's not a function. Let's do step into this time. And now you can see that it went into the mouse function and now we're in the mouse function, okay? And keep on hitting step into and then now we're back into the original function. I'm just gonna go ahead and put play. Uh, let me make this bigger. Okay, let's do that again. Let's do one, two, and then hit the tab key. So console.log, that's fine. Let's do the step out of this, or step over this time. So step over, step over. So now you can see that when we we're on the mouse function, it just stepped over it. But you can see that you have been mouse did execute down here. You can see that the mouse when we're at the mouse to, you can see that when we were at the mouse function, it didn't go into the function this time. It just stepped over it. So it just went to the next one. Let's do it one more time so you can see. So one, two, and three, tab, step over. So right now, if I step over, it's gonna just go to the if, okay? So this mouse did execute, it's just went to the if though. So it did not go into the function. And then let's do this one more time. One, two, three, four, tab. Let's do step into this time. So step into. So now we are in the mouse function. And then you can see step into. We're still in the mouse function. Awesome. Cool. All right. Refresh the screen. Let's do this one more time. So one, tab. We're in the console. So let's do mouse. And then let's do the step into. Okay. Let's do the step out of. So you can see it immediately went back to the original function. So 
let's compare that to what happens with uh, if we just continued. So one tab, okay, step into, step into. So we're in the mouse function. If we kept on doing step into, we're still in the mouse function. We're just at the closing curly brace and step into. So it keeps on going. Um, so kind of, uh, kind of play with that a little while so you can see what's happening. Um, but that's kind of like the difference between step over and step into. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and do one more thing um, on your on your file header. Let me go ahead and hit play and remove this breakpoint and go ahead and refresh. Uh, let's go ahead and create a variable. So var x equals one. Okay, that's fine. Just go ahead and save that. Refresh this page. You can see that var x equals one is there. Uh, let's go ahead and I'm just going to put a breakpoint there on button one is pressed. Just just to put it somewhere. Um, go ahead and press button one, and you can see that is there. If you hover over this x here, you can see that there's a one that pops up that's telling you that this uh, variable has a value of one okay so I'm gonna go ahead and refresh this let's uh, change this a little bit so inside of button pressed um, let's go ahead and make X equals to two okay so let's make sure you save this refresh over here button one and then you can see x equals one x is still one here and then just let's do our step into step into and then if you hover x now x is two and x is two all right so x you can see the value of the variable through here all right